is Alex Boyer. Look at that crowd just loving you. You know how to get the crowd going. Oh, Hanging out with you in the studio. It's so good to have you in the studio. It's, it's so been too long. long. I, I mean, know. pandemic made everything, you know, not fun. Yeah, yeah, so, yeah. Love, love the suit jacket, well, by the way. By the way, congratulations on your engagement. Thank you so much. So on Facebook so or something excited. like that. And I was like, woo! -hoo! Finally. PJs, I was like, right. yes! <laughs> Somebody done made her an honest woman. So, Hallelujah! About time. <laughs> No, hey, you got it. it's all about timing, man. It is. You know what I mean? It doesn't matter how long it takes. I know. As long as it takes, right? I know. It's true. It's true. Well, it's good to have you in studio. So Thank we you. have got to talk. You've got the coolest thing you are doing. I mean, this just, this blew my mind when, <laughs> I, when I was reading about it. You were allowing everyone to write a song for you. Yes. How does it work? And they get royalties, too, which is pretty cool. Amazing. So I got a call from a good friend of mine, Scott Lazerson. He says, hey, there's this company oh, out in New Scott. York. Yeah. He says, this company out in New York. Okay, they want to try something. Your necklace is making noise. They want to try something with you. There we go. We're fixing it. We're going to. There we go. So they said they want to try something with you. They've been doing it for a few artists. And basically, you have your fans write your songs. Wow. And so they go onto this called, the company is called Hookist. Okay. So you go onto hookist.com slash Alex Boy. And then you'll have, I've started the song. And everybody, you just like put two lines. And if I like it, I'll choose it, and then we go to the next line, then the next line, go to the chorus, to the bridge, chorus, Incredible. and out. Incredible. And it is so awesome, because I put out a video every Monday and Friday, uh -huh. and I tell them, okay, and then I give honorable mentions of the ones that I really like and stuff like that. And then we just keep going until we finish a the song. Then I'm going to perform it live at my event, the suicide prevention event at the Maverick Center on May the 7th. So I wanted to do a suicide prevention song. Brilliant. So the whole premise of this is I said to the, all those who are listening, I said, I want you to imagine you're on a Golden Gate Bridge and you see somebody there about to jump. <gasps> oh, jeez. What would wow. you say? What would you say to them? That, that, that's it. That's it. That's the preface of this whole song. And they come up and with this. Oh my line gosh, it's amazing. The wow. stuff that's come out of that. Yeah. Are you just getting the most? I mean, probably <laughs> heart wrenching, but amazing. Yeah, and I get, I'm getting chills every time as I'm reading the stuff. It. This is so important, especially now. It's very, very timely with everything. You know, we've got this. To me, suicide prevention, mental health, it's the second pandemic. It is. You know, it it's the is. aftermath, and a lot of people are struggling and suffering. And all the people who are strong, you know, I mean, happy on the outside. It, it, that, those are the ones too. Oh, I. Nope. You know I, what I mean? I was a mental case during right. the pandemic. I still kind of am. Right, right. Don't, we all, we don't worry. All, we, we all have. have our moments. Yes, absolutely. Why are you so passionate about suicide prevention? Well, because when I was 16, I attempted to take my life. I don't really talk about that much. My therapist has been telling me that I should talk about it more. But and it really hits home for you. Yeah, mm -hmm. so it does hit home. Because uh, a lot of people think, well, why is Alex doing this? They think it's just out of the blue. No, 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 this has been years in, it, in the making. It runs And deep. Um, I see how easy it is for you to get in a place where you're literally screaming inside. You look good on the outside, but you're screaming on the inside. And there are sometimes, I read this thing where it says, people don't take their life because they want to go. It's because the pain is so unbearable that they'd rather take their life just to end the pain, not their life but the pain, and now it's just so powerful. And it, it's such a sad thing that so many of us know people yes. who have taken their own life, you know, yes. family members, yes. friends, yes. Uh, and I think it hits home for a lot of us yes. these days. You yeah. know, yeah. Even if you are dealing with anxiety just on the smallest level, right. it's going to resonate, I think, with everybody so that we can really put our arms around, you know, those that need it, ourselves, yeah. whoever yeah. might need to hear this song that Absolutely. it's going to be for them. And Jen, you know, for me, music saved my life because when I was 16 and I wanted to take my life, I went to a nightclub. That my goal was to go to this nightclub and then I was going to end my life. Seriously. As I was at the nightclub, the DJ plays this song and, and that's the word just you. spoke to me. It was like 10 years of therapy in three minutes and 58 seconds. And you know, sometimes we do it by accident. Like we, right. We're going, having a sucky time. We turn on the radio in the car, we hear something and it makes us feel good. I want to do that deliberately. That's what these concerts are about. I call them suicide prevention mega concerts where we just connect. But I call up all the mental health therapists in the areas Good. and have them come. And they Incredible. minister to the kids. My, we did one in Nampa, Idaho uh -huh. um, with September Frogley. Hi, September. We did this in Nampa, Idaho, January the 5th. My green room turned into a therapy office and the kids were coming and being ministered by I the therapists. It. And people came away not just being entertained, but I call it entertainment. Oh, okay. You know what I mean? Because okay, yeah, it's, yeah. it's like life blessing and life saving 
and it's all about healing and connection. Entertainment. I like yeah. that. Well, you can see it right there. His Ben Not Break Suicide Prevention Concert is May 7th at the Maverick Center. They can get tickets online right there, and you're you're doing amazing stuff. And I'm Thank so glad so that you're here. I'm glad that Thank that you. song came on because you have been a blessing to the world. So oh, we're so grateful to have Thank this man here. He's not going anywhere though because he's actually going to sing part of the song yes. that they have been right. That We've got those... the verse and the chorus so far, so I'm going to sing that. He's going to sing a little bit of it, <laughs> and then the finished product, of course, he'll be singing on May 7th. So yeah. Alex, thank you so much. Thank you, Jeff.